Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ice Lakes and we're about to go on a little salmon fishing trip here. Just a little one for about 15 minutes, see what we can do in regards to this type of whoa, in regards to a little bitty competition. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Now the best place to go for that happens to be at the west coast. Now any of these areas, in these deep spots right here, you're going to find a lot of salmon. The only problem, the only disadvantage I might have over some of these other people is that I can't drill as big of a hole. But we're going to, if we can catch enough of them, maybe we'll be able to make up for that. So this is the total weight of trout species, and salmon happens to be included in that. Now we're going to go ahead and do morning. And why don't we do autumn this time? I haven't done autumn before. That's just to be different, mostly. <laughs> good thing is see it's a little warmer it's minus 6 instead of minus 13 so it doesn't freeze up quite as much I'm going to continue to use this goblin balanced lure and my bait is let me go ahead and show you real quick I'm using this trout jam so let's give it a try here guys now it's going to take a little bit longer to get down there and we are going to go deep, very deep. Only thing is, like I said, we might hook into a really big fish down here that we can't pull up. That's the only thing that frustrates me, is I don't have an auger big enough to drill a hole. But from what I've been told by Delacaba, even after you get that, you still have to get a heavy duty rod. There's the salmon. There's our first one. All right, let's drop another one down. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. I hope my, okay, that's better. My software has been trying to update itself, which is kind of aggravating. It's like usually when I record, I can mess things up pretty bad. Here, I'm going to see if I can't. Whoa, okay, this one's better than what I caught last time. There we go. That's a decent sized one. Nice little salmons. Nice thing about these guys, you can fish in the same hole for quite a while. At least that's what it seems to me. As you know, salmon can get quite large, so... I won't be surprised if I get one that I can't pull out. That's, that's one I won't get. See? Do you see how hard that was pulled? The hole is too small. <laughs> God, 
gosh, I would have loved to have been able to see him. Wonder how big he was. He bent that pole like it was a twig. Love to have seen what he was. I'm sure it was a salmon, just a very large one. Okay, I might have just rub the side. I did. All right. All right. Let's get it back down there. Okay. There we go. Nice. Another three pounder. We keep pulling ones like that out there. Will we? We'll have no trouble with this contest. That isn't too big. Ah, it's a pike. <laughs> nice one too, but not what I need. Still, nice pike. Now, if I was fishing for pike, I would just be going like this. Just up and down. Doc was definitely correct about that. I took a part in a short little pike contest and I won it easily so that does work but I don't think there's going to be any more pike in this particular hole I think from what I understand usually we get one per hole so if you're fishing for pike you gotta move around a lot there we go yeah there you go that might be my biggest fish 5.43 pounds can't beat that. Can't beat that, guys. That's some good eating right there. Love myself some salmon, I tell you. Salmon steaks, salmon patties. Salmon salad. And I'll tell you something, if you haven't tried it, salmon quesadillas are excellent. There you go. Yeah, you basically just make a case, you, you know, if you make quesadillas or if you've ever done it. You take salmon, obviously and some cream cheese a couple of different types of peppers usually red, orange, or green or all three for that matter and a few other things I can't remember all of them at the top of my, off the top of my head You mix all that together and you put that in a oh yeah, with cheese obviously. Shredded cheese. You fry those up in tortilla shells on a skillet, and I'm talking some good food here. My kids used to eat those like they were going out of style. Couldn't make enough of them. You can use tuna, but I think salmon's much better. That's just my opinion, I guess. There we go. I 
I think I might go ahead and move a little bit. Because I've got quite a few here, but there's they're starting to get far and few in between here. So I'm gonna to another good spot that I saw over. It's right over here. See these guys tend to focus on one particular area. And I always go for the deep. better than me because I really honestly have never been ice fishing for salmon. Something I would love to do, but I've never been. But, oh shoot, I hate when I do that. Finger hit the button. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I swear someday I am going to try it. It's one of those things on my bucket list, guys. <laughs> I'm going to go ice fishing. Ah, God, he is going to be too big. Oh, the hole is too small. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you guys, when I get that bigger auger and that bigger rod, I'll shoot another video just so you can see what these guys are. That I promise. Oh, come on. Two of them? Seriously? Darn. Now see, you know that some of these NPCs. I don't know if you noticed them, but some of them have the larger augers, so they're going to be doing catching these big guys. So that puts me at a bit of a disadvantage. I need to get me... There we go. That's about roughly the size I need. Huh. Well, if I was going for pike, I'd be doing great, wouldn't I? <laughs> Man, oh man, I'm catching the pike and I don't eat them. I love pike. I want a salmon. Give me a salmon. I want it. I want us. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now we're. Now we're cooking. Got three minutes, guys. I've got to get as many of these guys as I can. As many of these guys as I can catch. Oh boy, he's too big. Man, I tell you, if I was. All right, this is this message is going out to all my fellow fishermen friends, especially Delacava. You have got to come over here when you get that bigger auger and that bigger rod, man. I want to see what the heck is in these holes. See what I mean? I'm just really laying into the big ones. If I was able to catch them, I would be kicking butt. Keep getting that they're too big. It's good to know though where they are. Yeah, I know I need to get back. I don't usually actually pull up stakes until I've got a minute left. There we go. Oh, now I have not caught one of these guys yet. An eel, huh? Not caught an eel. It's kind of freaky looking. 
kind of freaky. Yeah, I, w I don't think I could eat an eel. Ah, Lord. I think I'm just not in to catch that many this time, guys. I don't know what the deal is. I keep catching these big ones, but I need to head on back. Whoop. Okay, let's get this show on the road here. So we need to huff it over there. It's not too far. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Now, I won the last one I did, but I caught a lot more of the four or five pounders. I don't know what the deal was. I think it was just where I was fishing. I'll have to remember that, though, when I get the back bigger auger, that's for sure. That is for sure. Yep, we're almost out of time here. Now at this point, I think I'll be happy if I place. What did I do? Second, not bad. Still got 825 coins, so I can live with that. Uh, Apo Lejo beat the crap out of me, but not really, though. He got, what, he must have gotten a really big one, because it's the same amount of fish. But anyway, guys, that's salmon fishing, and I'm getting there finally. I'm starting to get coins up here. Let me see here what I got. Equipment is what I want. 6183. Now I need. This is what I want, guys. The heavy standard. And probably gonna go for this heavy classic. It's slow, but you know, it's probably what I'm gonna be able to afford at the time. It's gonna be a long time before I can get these heavy this heavy tungsten, this heavy pro. But the next thing I'm also going to get is this ultralight for catching these small fish. <clears throat> or the ultralight silver, one of the two. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. Hopefully it will be one where we're doing a competition. And I will see you then. Until then, guys, bye-bye.